Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. We are almost through the week. We're halfway there. How is everyone's week so far? Wednesday, we're almost there. You know, it's kind of scary how fast time is just passing us by, I feel like. The damn days go by so quick. Oh my god. The weekends go by quicker. I'm using our VFX Pro Camera Ready Primer. I feel like these um, days go by so quickly. I'm going to use, um, today I'm using our Stay Matte uh, Foundation. This is a pore minimizer, oil-free, shine-free. Um, and it controls, you know, all that um, oiliness if you have oily skin. I have dry skin, however, when it's um, hot outside, by the afternoon, my skin is super dry, especially my forehead my nose, my chin, so. Now I'm using number five. It seems a little light for me, but once I um, apply, once I apply everything else, it should be okay I'm gonna definitely hopefully have to get a darker color for the summertime even though there really aren't any like beaches here there are pools but I don't know Yes, I'm going super fast. Because guess what, guys? You are never going to guess. I'm running late. Can you believe that? I've been up since 5.15. I just don't know where time goes. And it's not like, it's not like I'm just lounging around. Like I literally am busy the entire time. I can add a little more for um for more coverage. Just don't want to spend too much time on it because I am running late. These these two pimples, yeah, my nail. These two pimples here are finally clearing up. Oh my gosh, it's taking forever. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead with our press powder. Of course, that's the last one I grab. This is press powder number four. Now I feel like with this, I'm a little too dark. Not too too dark, but it it is a little darker. And this is um, again number four. Our our press powder. And I use this guy a lot. I love it. This gives you such a beautiful finish. And I'm kind of setting that in. Don't forget the crevices of your nose. I'll go in and set that with our translucent powder. OK, 
Okay. Use our brow design. We call it our eyebrow mascara because it has the mascara type brush. And I just like to um, darken, darken my, um, well, darken uh, this here. I can't think of the name. Well, I make it a little fuller. My eyebrows. It's, it's in the name. And I, and I still didn't. Okay. Let's go if you cut it out. Sorry, we don't have to. See, I'm just darkening it. This side seems a little lighter than the other side. But that's all that I do. I don't really know how to um, uh, um, how to make my eyebrows look, look better. I'm terrible at that, so I don't even bother. Because I tend to mess it up. I'm going to go with our Iconic, of course. And I'm going to use Myth right here. It's a beautiful shimmery like wine color. You guys know I have to wash these brushes. Now these are very pigmented so you have to be careful. First I just tap that in and once I tap it in then I work the product. This is such a beautiful color. It has like hints of gold and pink and wine. It's so beautiful. It is such a beautiful color. You really can't see it on the camera, but it is. I'm literally just applying that on my eyelid. I'm not going any further than I normally I normally go up here. I'm trying to stay just on my like lower lid here. On my actual eyelid. But you guys know how that works. I know it looks a little messy, but don't worry, I'm gonna fix that. Okay, I think that's good. Such a pretty color, oh my gosh. It is such a pretty color. Pretty, pretty, pretty color. Okay, you guys know, again, my little Domi brush. Y'all y'all know which one am I gonna use? Right here, black truffle. Tap it on. Corner here, twist. And then just work in circular motions and bring it over right underneath the um, eye bone right here. And then bring it right, up, right on the eye bone. Side. Oh, maybe not. 
And again, I'm just circular motions. I'm bringing it over right underneath the eye bone. And then bring it right on the bone there. If you guys feel your, your eyes, um, not your eyes, the eyelids, there's a bone right here. You, you want it right on that bone. I don't know what's up with that, but. And what I'm doing is blending. See? I feel like I have a little too much on, on this corner here. I can't believe it's been only 11 minutes. You see how this time goes so fast? I just don't get it. All I'm doing. All that I'm doing. Now I'm going to uh, grab. Mm, come on, come on. I'll just use the black liner. I should have grabbed. So the good thing about this liner is like it's super super black wow that is nice i'm gonna enjoy it because i know my left eye ain't, ain't gonna look like that oh that's so pretty reason is super like wrinkly so whenever I apply liquid liner I have to make sure I apply the inner corner from the inner corner out Definitely not even close. Y'all see see that huge difference? Ay, ay, ay. I used to get so frustrated, but it's like, what's the point? There's no point of getting frustrated. I'm just going to add a little more here. Okay. Done. I'm going to go ahead with um, our deep black mascara. I'll just make sure you clean it because sometimes it just gets to be too much. And this brush is super, super thin. Start off with putting some on the top of my lashes. This is actually my favorite mascara because it is so dark, it is so rich in color. I love it. I love that dark, rich color. And I feel like it separates all of my lashes. Look how long it makes my lashes look. And this is the side that my lashes are not as, as long. I've lost a lot of my lashes on my right eye. I don't know.
see how gentle uh, I am with my lashes because I like them to be super precise. Look how long these lashes are. Y'all. Crazy. Can't see. Sorry. But I love this because it's just so precise. It separates all of my lashes. They look like falsies. They really do. Ugh. I'm trying to finish this in 15 minutes or less. No, they're not as full as I love them to be. But look how beautiful, long, and separated they make my lashes. And this, this thing is so rich. The only thing I like about this is that when you pull the brush out, a lot of product comes out. So you have to constantly keep cleaning the brush. That's my only complaint. I think I'm going to email company and see if they could do something about that that's my only complaint that this brush because it's so small and thin it doesn't really hold a lot of product the product just comes out and it makes somewhat of a mess that's the only thing But if my lashes can look like this, who cares? I made a, a little boo boo there, it's fine. I'll wait till it dries. A huge mess now. That scared. I thought it was gonna go in my eye, and I freaked out. <laughs> I, I'll clean that up. It's super easy. But look at these lashes. I'm gonna wait until it dries out. Okay. Use our. You know what? Instead of our peach bite, I'm gonna use our. Face sculpting palette. So these two are like the bronzers, and then that's the highlight. I don't really use that. I feel like with me, if I use that, you can see my wrinkles more. Y'all see this white, white hair?
this hair is a mess. I have the worst hair products on the planet. Ugh. I can't wait to finish it because it doesn't do anything for my hair at all. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Look at this. It doesn't even... It doesn't do anything for my hair. Kind of to match my eyes, I'm going to use this blush. This is number 17, Love Letter. And it pretty much match, matches my, my eyeshadow. This one is very pigmented, so you have to be careful. See that? How quick? It looks super red on the camera, but I promise you it's not, it's not that right. I promise you it's not that right. It looks terrible in, in the camera. Oh my gosh. Where is... It really isn't that that red but if you ever feel like you put too much blush I just take the foundation brush because there's always like product le left over and you just take it off see that I do like not a lot of blush but you know so I, I don't want to take too much off and then I clean it off because when I use it, I, again, even though I should wash it like once a week, um, you don't want it to have blush on it. What's next, guys? Um, okay, I'm using a Q-tip. Come out. See? Come out. Easy peasy. So if, if you make a mess, don't freak out. Oh, a little bit of this, and I'm out. I'm done. 23 minutes. I can't believe it, guys. I cannot believe it. <sighs> Highlight. You know what? I should put some. I'm going to use a little highlight. Under here. Not a lot. There it goes. <laughs> no, I put this in the wrong way. Setting spray. I was a little too close to my face, but that's okay. Let it dry. And while that is drying, I'm gonna use lip liner. I'm not gonna mention the name because I don't even know if this is still in the back office. One of these is no longer available. And I'm not sure if it's 226 or 227. See how good our lip liners are? I don't have to apply anything to it.
He just glides right on. What is that? No, you do have to keep. Your lips hydrated, you know. Like my my lips are always super dry. So, okie dokie. This is is this a translucent powder? Yes. Ugh, look at this hair. I need some good hair products. And I'm just applying the translucent powder in the areas where I touch a lot and I and I uh, get oily a lot because I'm wearing a mask and that's it guys that's it that's it that's it 27 minutes oh my gosh but look at these lashes Alright guys, happy Wednesday. Again, we're halfway halfway there. We've got this. Have a great day. Um, thanks for hanging in there. Any questions, please private message me or comment below. And I love you guys. Bye.